What's going on guys? Sean here from olightstore.com and today we've got something really awesome to show you guys. Now, if you remember online, we posted a poll a few months back asking you guys what Olight model we should make out of solid copper. And the big vote at the very top was the M2R and then underneath that was the I3T. Now we already came out with the I3T, but we couldn't let up on the M2R since it did get number one from you guys. So because this is what you wanted, we did it. I've got a brand new M2R CU here, solid copper. All right, sorry for the glare. The, uh, the packaging is still on here. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, get into it. Got the, uh, the old trusty paramilitary two here. So I'll just cut it there. Ooh, gotta love that plastic. All right, so let's slide this out real quick. And here we are at the very front. So you can see here, there's some disclaimers here on the side. Okay, uh, first of all, it's telling you to remove the insulating film from the, uh, the tail cap uh, because that is blocking the flashlight from having a connection um, with the battery due to shipping purposes. So we'll remove that once we get into the product. Uh, underneath that, uh, it's also telling you that there are two different types of modes. So there's the standard default mode and then there's the enhanced tactical mode that includes strobe. Um, so we can switch between those two and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, and then it also tells you how to switch between the two. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. So pull this out and then here's the light itself. Um, similar to the Eternal Edition of the S1R2 that we talked about, um, with the raw copper, it does patina and it will oxidize over time. Um, so we put it in this little bag here, the shrink wrap bag, so it won't patina while it's on the way to you. And then we also have this uh, deoxidizer uh, little packet in here to help out with that. So we'll set that there. We'll go into the side right here, and this does include the holster, uh, same holster that comes with the standard M2R, all right? We have the lanyard here as well, and then we have the charging cable here. Magnetic charging cable uh, still works just fine, even though this is made out of copper now. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we'll grab our trusty PM2 here. We'll open this guy up. All right, there we go. Pull out this packet. Here's the light, all right. And get you some real nice shots here in 4K of the light. See how awesome that looks, okay. And the clip, just like the S1R2 in copper, the Eternal Edition, and the i3T in copper, it has this PVD coated clip um, that's uh, pretty much there just to better match the copper here. Um, again, we could have used a black clip, but I think it looks a lot classier, matches a lot better with this PVD coated steel clip here. All right, so first thing, of course, that we want to do that we mentioned earlier is let's pull this out here so that the light will work properly. And then again, it comes with the 3500 milliamp HDC high discharge battery here, which is great. Um, this is actually my favorite battery that we make. Huge uh, milliamps here, 3500, almost the max. Let's pop this battery back in. You want the positive side facing the tail cap and we'll screw this down and we're fully operational. All right, now if you're familiar with the M2R tail switch, what's really cool about it is first of all, you can charge from it. All right, so we'll just pop this on. There's a little indicator right here on the, uh, on the charging cable. It'll be red and then it'll go to green once the light is fully charged and it's USB. You can plug this into anything, you know, your iPhone, iPad charger, whatever. All right, now the way that it works is you can do a half press, which is uh, basically you just kind of tap it and then let go and that'll give you a momentary. So you're not fully pressing as hard as you can. You're doing a soft press. All right, so we'll do that and let go. And then if I want to, I can do a full click all the way down. 
so I actually feel that click and that'll give you a constant on. All right, so again, a little half press here and then let go for momentary. And then if you wanna do a full press, you can click all the way in and it'll stay right there. If you wanna put it into the enhanced tactical mode, basically you'll press down, hold it down, and then hit the side switch at the same time and now it's in the enhanced tactical mode. So what that means is you can still press half, do the soft half press for momentary, but then if you fully click in, it's just gonna do momentary stroke. So when you let go, it's still going to turn off. Um, so you can do the half press, the soft press, and then press all the way down and it goes to a momentary strobe and then you let go and it turns off. Now, if you wanna go back to the standard mode, you press this down when you're in the, in the strobe, press the side switch at the same time, and then you're back to the standard where you can fully press all the way and you have that constant on and then you still have that momentary. All right, so you can switch back and forth here we're in enhanced tactical, we'll press the side switch again, and then we're in the standard mode. So it's your decision, you know, maybe you wanna switch it to the, the uh, enhanced tactical mode if you're going out at night or something like that and you feel like maybe you'll need to use that strobe. But in everyday use, obviously you don't need strobe, so you might wanna just have it in that standard mode. But you saw how easy that is to switch back and forth, so it's really not a big deal. Let's take a look at the Copper M2R next to our other popular tactical models. So. Here's the standard M2R, so you can see they're the exact same light, but obviously this one has a lot more flash. And uh, here's the M2T right behind it. Uh, this is the non-rechargeable uh, standard tail switch uh, tactical light. Um, it's basically the M2R's little brother, um, so it just depends on if you want this stainless steel tactical kind of switch with the uh, magnetic charging, or if you'd rather go with more of a standard type light. And then of course we have the, uh, the M1X here in the back um, with the crenulated bezel. But this is kind of our, our, our popular tactical tail switch family, um, so just wanted to, to let you see all those together. I also wanted to show you the huge difference between the M2R CU and the regular M2R. Here's the manual for the M2R CU. You can see that it's 9.74 ounces with the battery inside of it. If you look at right here, this is the box for the standard M2R. This is 5.47 ounces. Okay, so we're looking at maybe four ounces heavier, so that is quite significant. Um, this might not be just an everyday carry for you guys, but boy, this is such a sweet looking flashlight. Really great conversation piece, and especially if you have a flashlight collection, this is a must have. The M2RCU continues to offer actually up to seven modes. It has two turbos, high, medium, uh, and then that low, and then you have the moonlight, which is the one lumen. So you can go from one lumen all the way to 1500 lumens which I think is pretty awesome. It hits the wide spectrum of different uh, brightness levels that you would need. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy again. It just looks fantastic. This is really cool. I'm really glad that you guys suggested us to make this because um, we had a lot of fun with it. And uh, I think this is really the, the first copper, you know, real tactical style light. Don't forget guys, on Cyber Monday, these are 25% off if you buy one and 30% off if you buy two. Definitely mark your calendars for Cyber Monday. I know you guys are probably gonna be all over the internet that day anyways. So grab one of these while you can. These are extremely limited. And again, these are just a fantastic conversation piece, just a super sweet flashlight to add to your collection. Thank you so much for taking a look at the M2R in solid copper. I think the M2R is absolutely one of the best tactical flashlights on the market. I really love the stainless steel switch and the fact that you can charge magnetically through that switch. It's just genius engineering. And in the copper version, boy, this is really, really cool.